let us see how you can import products to your whatsapp catalog or your meta catalog via google sheet go to storefront click on meta catalog manager this will open the specific page in meta business manager from where you can manage your catalog click on items and click on add items now you'll see an option of data feed here kindly select this on the right hand side you'll get, you'll get an option from meta to download a template click on it and click on custom template select your product category for example now i am clicking on clothing and click on download dot excel template Now let us open Google Sheets. Let us name it and import the template that we have just downloaded. instead of create new spreadsheet i am selecting replace spreadsheet because i have just created the spreadsheet now facebook will automatically give you all the required fields as well as all the optional fields you can decide to remove these optional fields but you need to ensure that you are entering all the required fields so for now I am deleting all the optional fields next you also need to delete the first column sorry first row now this becomes your header row and this is basically your product catalog now ID is basically your unique SKU so always ensure that it is unique else Facebook will update the existing product instead of creating a new product so let us write as 100 101 102 you can enter a product title a description I'm just replicating this for now you can select the stock availability so you can also upload out of stock products and future in future let Facebook only keep on syncing the stock status you can enter the condition in case of price it has to be with double decimal and the currency code not dollar sign not rupee sign it will be INR for Indian rupee USD for United States dollar so for example thousand dot zero zero INR twelve hundred dot zero zero and this is basically an external product link this is in general mandatory only if you are you have selected while creating the catalog that this is an online product or online store so for now we are entering this you need to enter the direct product image google drive images won't work it should be a direct hotlink product image and you need to enter a brand name now if you are an indian business you there's also a mandatory requirements for three more columns but if you're not an indian business if you're not an indian business your task is done here you can create your sheets with all the mandatory columns and i'll show in a few minutes on how to import this but if you're an indian business you need to enter three more columns I am sharing those just give me one second yeah. so this is required by Indian government and hence it is also required by meta you need to have three more columns first name is origin underscore country second is importer name And third is WA 
compliance category we have mentioned these three column headers in the video description as well so you can replicate is replicate it or copy it easily and the value so if you're not importing your product you have manufactured it in india you can simply write the country code and even if you have manufactured it in india still write the important name as your company's name and i'm copying this in the four rows and the last is the compliance category for imported products or indian manufactured products so we also need to mention this we simply copy this so we have i'll mention all these three column headers as well as values in the video description kindly copy it and these three columns are only required for indian businesses now we'll click on share option and in the general access we'll give the option of anyone with the link is the viewer and copy link and done we'll go back to the meta catalog manager we have selected the option of data feed we'll click on next paste the google sharing link which has at least viewing rights click on next you can select the default currency if you have not already set for your business if you have set it won't ask you again and you can also define the frequency in which facebook will automatically keep on fetching the new products or stock updates for or price updates for existing products and it will automatically update so you can define if you want to update the inventory or the price from the google sheet and this can be done on hourly daily or weekly basis you can define the time as well and click on upload now facebook will take some time for the initial upload and once the upload has been done you'll see that your products have started getting reflected in your meta catalog manager but not in your whatsapp catalog yet because whatsapp has another layer of approval which takes few more hours now as you have created the products in the meta catalog but you even want them to be displayed in our products library so you need to go to the products and click on pull products select your store and click on pull products if you won't pull the products any order that you get for these new products or your google sheet products that order won't have the product information so always remember to pull products as well after uploading any new products using the meta catalog manager or google sheets thank you